This is the Ripley grenade harness with a custom order for a dog. So there's a couple different modifications I had to do and I had to uh, keep the cost low and not order items like crazy so I took plenty of time trying to find different straps of different sizes in order to fit the smaller sp uh, dimensions of a dog and uh, I used a single strap for the collar. I still use the, the tubular nylon strap for spots where we're using um, my custom rivets. Not only for the extra strength, and I'm putting a lot of work into it for, for riveting, but also because the dimensions I need in order to get that rivet through, I need a certain thickness. So I use the tubular nylon as on the regular Ripley grenade harnesses on these buckles here, and for the piece for the grenade strap. Now for the dog, I can only get six on each side, so you get a total of 12 frags, and uh, I'm still using off-the-shelf components, so this is a uh, stretchy nylon, and it's uh, stitched with holding for shotgun shells. And you can get these custom Colonial Marine frags from the Spat Cave. This one I, I used a, uh, a Sharpie, silver metallic Sharpie, so that color comes out a little bit better than the, the casting. I'm using a pillow to simulate the dog. So the collar is totally custom made by me at the one inch uh, flat nylon strap and I'm not using a metal buckle so it's plastic so the dog will probably uh, be a little bit more comfortable with this lightweight D-ring instead of the metal ones I use. This is an off the shelf item I found so I'm keeping the cost low for the consumer because if I ordered every component to change it for a dog the cost for this unit are just going to be astronomical. I don't want to go into producing dog costumes. So this is a one-off that I had to find odds and ends for. Unlike my usual Ripley grenade harness, this is a uh, shotgun bandolier and, and it's not the Black Hawk one. It's a much thinner material so it should bend and move and twist and flex with the dog. So that should be much more comfortable. And I found this belt it's a little bit off color, but it's a better size. So instead of having the two inch LC2 style belt with a modern quick detach buckle, which would be just dimensions be totally wrong for a dog, we're using this instead. And uh, there is a, a loose strap, but you can put a couple little stitches there or wrap it in some electrical tape and that'll hold that down and that'll look pretty good. For the adjustments, we got one adjustment on the belt. We got a, an adjustment on the collar, which is adjusted all the way out just so it fits on the pillow right now. And these straps are adjustable, but due to the smaller nat nature, um, we're only getting about one and a half inches of play. This strap is all the way out, and this is folded over so it doesn't come off through the buckle. And this strap is pulled in all the way tight, and it is rolled up and wrapped with electrical tape just to hold it there and make it nice and neat instead of having to flop around. And that's one of the things we do in the Marine Corps. You can't have loose straps flopping around, making noise, getting caught on gear or weapons or, you know, getting caught in brush. So we keep everything nice and tight, and that could just be easily undone, and you have more adjustment. And if the dog gets upset uh, with the wear in the costume and tired and just wants to be done with it, you don't have to take everything off. It's made modular, so you can just unbuckle the belt unbuckle the straps and now you've just removed most of the costume and now we're down to a collar with the female side of the buckles and the dog should be much more comfortable wearing just this and um, for the the placement of the straps I didn't fix these but they just sewn very tight so you can come in here and you can kind of pull it around you can kind of adjust it and where you want it on the dog so it is fully adjustable and it shouldn't slide. But if it does slide, you can just put a couple of little threads through that and pinch it and hold it, and it should look pretty nice. And if in the future uh, the customer wants to upgrade and spend more money in it, I can go ahead and I can replace the collar with the tubular strap. I can go ahead and custom order different components and change these out and make the, the belt heavier duty and put some rivets in the, on it or come back and make different spots, different different adjusting and uh, changing out different buckles. So there's always an option to go back and change these out. 
So I was on the third pattern of the uh, Ripley grenade harness when I finally said it's about as accurate as, as I can get it. So there are potentially future upgrades for this little dog costume, but for the time being, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I think the customer will be satisfied.